Today marks the 62nd anniversary of the Woolworth lunch counter protests in downtown Greensboro. The middle colleges at North Carolina A&T and at Bennett College honored the day and the beginning of Black History Month by visiting a memorial on campus. Tonight, WFMY News 2's Jalen Gilkey has that moment. David Richmond, Franklin McCain Sr., Ezell Blair, and Joseph McNeil. Four names which will forever live on the campus of North Carolina A&T. However, two GCS schools are doing their part to make sure these names live forever through their students. It, it was awesome, um, even more so just diving deep into the, the, the history behind a and 4 and what they've done, what they, you know, many of them have taken pictures by the statue or been on campus but haven't known it. So to actually take the opportunity to educate them, uh, for them to ask questions, engage with them in that type of discussion, it's just been eye-opening to start Black History Month. At the uh, Middle College at Bennett students, you know, they wore their blue today to represent the Bells on campus at that time in 1960, who actually helped support the, the four gentlemen that sat in. They also sat in. February 1st, 1960 is a day that will forever live in Greensboro's history, as well as the nation's. On that day, four young men from North Carolina A&T State University, with the help of several Bennett Bells, organized a protest to demand equal service for all Americans at the segregated F.W. Woolworths lunch counter. To be on the campus, to know what it represents for these uh, four gentlemen who stood up for something great then, and it lasts like now our students are learning about that. For the first time since 2019, the middle colleges at North Carolina A&T and Bennett College were able to march from their campuses to the statue to pay their homage. For my school to begin it, it represents not only a part of history that's never spoken, that Bennett and also Dudley High School had helped in this history, but we get to almost relive it and honor the people. It means a lot just to be able to be a part of this history, especially at the campus, and be a part of like what they stood for and what we're trying to change now. The ANT4 and the national protest that took place soon after were the spark to the passing of the Civil Rights Act of 1960.